Hey, fab gals, do you have a closet full of clothing and you still feel like you have nothing to wear? In this video, I'm going to help you to explore maybe some of the reasons why you do feel that way, and I'm going to give you three solutions on how to fix that. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I'm Tracy Gold, and it's my absolute passion to bring you fashion tips that make you look and feel fabulous. In this video, I'm going to be giving you some general tips that hopefully all of you will be able to relate to and start using right away. However, if you feel the need for personalized tips that cater to your individual needs, then stay tuned to the end of the video and I'll tell you how to get those. I often hear women say to me that they feel like although they have so many clothes, they feel like they have nothing to wear. So if you are one of these ladies, then you are not alone. But if so many women are feeling this way, why is that? And how can it be fixed most importantly? Well, I'm going to give you three reasons why I think you may be feeling this way. And then I'm going to give you a solution so that you can fix it. Because my passion is to make sure that you have a wardrobe filled with clothes that you love and that you wear. You may have gone through a life stage change. And I see this with so many of my clients. They can be going from working to being at home or from a corporate job where they're working in a formal office environment to being entrepreneurial where they're a little bit more casual. This can also be a life stage as far as your age is concerned. You may have been at one age and now you're at a different stage in your life and suddenly nothing feels like it works, right? In fact, you may be just opening up your closet and going, whose closet is this anyway? Don't worry, this is normal. And whenever you go through a life stage change, it means that often you have to go through a wardrobe change as well. You can fix this by firstly, understanding that you are in a different life stage and it's going to feel like everything's wrong until you get your wardrobe right and it works for the life you have now. So decide on what kind of look you want to create, what's going to suit your lifestyle now, and then look in your closet and find the items that work for that look. Then make a shopping list of the things that you think you are looking for that will help you to complete your look. I'm telling you ladies, it's so interesting about our closets because often we think it's just clothing. It's not just clothing. Clothing is an expression of how we feel about ourselves and where we're at at the time. So when your wardrobe or your closet is out of sync with where you're at, it's going to feel weird. So don't be surprised. And hey ladies, if you're enjoying these tips, please feel free to like this video and to share it with your friends. You may have plenty of friends out there who would love to learn how to fill their wardrobes with things that they actually love and wear. You may have gone through or are going through a body change. Now this can be a tough one because lots of women go through different stages where their bodies change and often it takes our brains a little bit of time to catch up. So it could be that you've actually lost quite a bit of weight then you, and you are smaller than you were before and now suddenly nothing fits you. Or it could be that you've gained weight and now nothing fits you. Or it could be that you're yo-yoing between the two or you're just not sure what actually suits your body shape any longer. So once again, you're gonna have a wardrobe full of clothing and nothing works. So the solution to this is to look at what actually suits your body as it is now. Learn what suits your body shape. If this body shape you have now is new to you, then set out to learn what suits it now. It doesn't necessarily mean that if you've gained weight that you're always going to be that way. But sometimes I find it really useful to meet yourself where you're at and to dress well for where you're at. And then it's easier to make good lifestyle choices if that's where you're going. So look at what you have in your wardrobe that fits you now and pack away or even better yet, give away the things that don't work for you. 
Now, if you are just going through a bit of a bump in the road at the moment and say you've picked up quite a bit of weight, but you are on a program and you're going to lose the weight, then don't necessarily give away those things that no longer fit you that you love, but do pack them somewhere else so that you cannot see them. There's nothing worse than going into your closet and seeing the clothes that you love, that you would love to wear and going, oh, I'm just too fat to wear that. You are just giving yourselves negative messages and that's not going to make you feel any better. You also, once you know what suits you, you've packed away the things that's going, that, that aren't fitting you at the moment, and you now know what suits your body shape, then you need to shop for and look for things that are going to make you feel fabulous in this stage of your life. Now, it may just be a temporary phase, and that's absolutely fine. But even if it is a long-term phase, you still want to love yourself for where you're at now and make sure that you look and feel fabulous. You may be unclear of what your personal style is. How this will look will mean that your closet is full of a whole lot of different things that you like, but maybe nothing really works together. And so you always feel like you have nothing to wear. So you may quite like the feminine look, but you also quite like the sort of goth chic type of look. Well, you can combine those, but you may be finding that you have a bit of bling and a bit of boho and a bit of this and a bit of that. And so there's all these tidbits in your wardrobe and nothing really is working together. So how can you fix this? Well, first, I think it's important to define your personal style. And this doesn't have to be one particular, oh, I only wear boho, or I only wear goth, gothic, gothic chic type of thing. No, you can really create your own personal style. And once you have defined that, then get rid of the things or give away the things that don't really work for your personal style and only fill your wardrobe with things that do. If you need some more tips on how to define your personal style, then you can take a look at my video on how to define your personal style. I'll put the details in the description below so it's easy for you to find. So here are three reasons why I feel that you may have a closet full of clothing and still feel like you have nothing to wear. But I would love to hear from you. Do you have a closet full? And if so, why is it that you feel that you have nothing to wear? I'd love to hear your comments so that we can start a discussion and feel like we're all in this together. As I said before, these are general tips that hopefully every woman can relate to and use instantly. However, if you feel the need for personalized tips that really cater to your individual needs, you may be going through a major life stage change or body change or personal style change and you need a little bit of guidance, then you may want to consider an online image makeover session with me. Now, since it's online, it doesn't matter where in the world you are, you can get personalized tips for you. If I've piqued your curiosity, then take a look at the details in the description below. Thanks for watching this video, ladies. I hope you have found this really useful. If you have, please let me know and let me know what you would like to hear more of so that I can make sure to bring you fashion tips that make you look and feel fabulous. R -R Yes, I have. That's it. Yay! Yay!